Just make sure it's on like 24 or 30. You want, okay, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Pick a number one through five. Two. Wait, did she choose two? You choose two? I don't know. Oh, yes. I, she did? Yes. I don't want the same question. Um, I want everybody to get a different one. Okay, one. Does any, did anyone say one? All right, I do one. I feel like it means what it says. Like, I love you. Like, I have affection towards you. I fuck with you. I vibe with you. I, I guess that's what it means to say I love you. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my love language is definitely body contact. Um, physical touch. I like to be with my partner next to my partner. Um, I don't always know how to communicate verbally, so I feel like my energy can very much be like felt felt all the time. So touching someone is like my best way of communicating with you. So you know what type of vibe I'm on personally. To a significant other, I was probably like 21 or 22, I think. And I was kind of pressured into saying it because they said it to me and they wanted me to reciprocate that love as well. And I did love them, but I also didn't feel as comfortable in that moment to say that I loved them. So that's why I say I was kind of pressured into it personally. So I don't like how it came about, but that's how it did happen. So yeah. Masterpiece, June 24, 2018, 2 o'clock a.m. You've got an idea for me. You've set me on an easel, made me your muse, and wiped my canvas clean. The artist who drew me before left me a mess with eraser shavings. He made his mistakes and chose not to clean up afterwards, so here you are with a paintbrush instead of a pencil, here to make your work permanent. So teach me how to create myself anew, how to start from scratch. Teach me that coloring with pastels is better than markers because you like the trail it leaves behind. You like how the shades stay on your fingers because it reminds you that I'm fragile to the touch, but can still be stuck on ye. Show me how to come to life, breathe air into my lungs and be my Geppetto. Bring stars to my night, put a smile on my face and let this moan, Elisa, leave my Picasso pieces shattered because you love that I am not the norm. I'm still putting myself together. Abstract me from what is regular. Use every supply in your art box. Help me be my own masterpiece. Basquiat in all that is me while we take our time in creating a perfect portrait. When I first fell in love, it was um, a very overwhelming experience because this person that I'm talking about, I didn't take him serious at first. <laughs> like at all, so um, I just kind of, at first I really only just kind of saw him as a friend. I didn't think that it would last very long. Um, it lasted for about a year and a half, but you know, I, there was no pressure. So we were really just enjoying each other. We were just enjoying each other's company, enjoying each other's time. Um, but as, as time went on, I started to realize, like, wow, I think I really love this person. It's an overwhelming feeling when you realize that somebody loves you and likes you for who you are in any capacity. Like, they just love you for you. And for me personally, it was, he was the first person to love me correctly, whether it was a relationship or even my family, like I had never had anybody love me like that before in my life, so it was overwhelming, it was scary, 
it was, I'm going to cry. Ew. <laughs> it was, it was just, it was nice. It was really nice. So. <laughs> Don't settle, don't settle. And make sure that you, you figure out what you like. Um, don't try to adjust yourself for other people. Don't make yourself small for other people. Don't let people talk to you any old kind of way just because they think that they can and have respect for yourself. Yeah. Recognize your worth and recognize um, that you are the prize. I'm specifically talking to the women though. I'm just keep it a band. You're the prize. Like you are, you're it. And so make sure you have standards for yourself. Make sure that you, you know what you're looking for and you know what you're worth. Because if you don't walk around like you're worth something, people will treat you accordingly. And they will take advantage of it and they will run with it because you're letting them. So, and also look back on your past relationships and look at where you went wrong. Because I'm sure you went wrong. In some point, you did. So acknowledge those points in your, acknowledge those parts of yourself and adjust them so that when somebody does come along, you know how to love them correctly, just like you want them to do for you. So that's my advice. <laughs> I don't really have much advice. Um, poetry is subjective. Poetry is about what you are feeling and putting it to paper or your phone or your computer. Um, or the mic, like, I guess the advice would be to just pour yourself into it and don't hold back. Because if you hold back, then you're not really speaking your truth. You're not really allowing yourself to feel whatever it is that happened. So, yeah, I think that would be my advice is just write whatever is in your head and get it out. Don't think too much. For the moment, March 9th, 2018, 5.14 p.m. Sometimes he traces the palm of my hand. I don't think he knows I notice. I do. I notice everything he does. I just forget to tell him. I notice that he stares at me in a way that really breaks my heart. Because I know he's taking me in for the moment taking in what little time we have together. And I can't help but wonder if he sees it the way that I do. If he takes every second with me and locks each memory in his mind, trying to hold on to a person he knows may not be permanent. But we like the challenge anyway. I noticed that when I spoke, he'd smile and the gap he hates so much would make an appearance just to see me. And when I go on my rants, when I'm selfish and talk about myself, he imagines each adventure I've had in his head, pictures my tirades and enjoys the headaches I give myself because he knows with each draw of breath is a story he hasn't heard for the day. He soaks me in, metaphorically, like a sponge. And I've always been the difficult type. The kind of boss no player has ever been able to beat, but I like to think he's the first to actually take me down in more ways than one, but I digress. I think he's perfect, even when he won't admit it. I like to tell him because he plays shy and can't take a compliment, but I love him for his modesty. I like the way his eyes brighten like amber stones when the light hits them just right. I like that his compassion is second nature. I like how his eyelashes curl. I just like him. I like that he's mine, even if it's just for the moment.